Deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where science dared to cross lines that nature had drawn, a nightmare was born. Let me tell you about the day humanity's arrogance unleashed something terrifying upon our world. It started with what seemed like a brilliant idea. A covert biotech company, hidden away in the dense jungle, thought they could revolutionize pest control. Their method? Gene splicing. Combining the hunting efficiency of vampire bats with the predatory nature of arachnids. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything went wrong. The first sign was the fire. A massive blaze that consumed the lab, leaving nothing but smoking ruins and broken containment units. But that wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. From those ashes, something emerged. Something that should never have existed. Imagine a tarantula, but not like any you've seen before. These creatures were massive, the size of dinner plates. With fangs that weren't just designed to paralyze, they were engineered to drain their prey dry. Their silk wasn't just for catching prey, it was for preserving their food, creating macabre cocoons that hung from the trees like twisted Christmas ornaments. The locals were the first to disappear. One by one, they vanished into the jungle, only to be found days later, pale, lifeless husks wrapped in silvery threads. The bodies told a horrifying story. These weren't just spiders, they were vampires on eight legs. The government sent in expedition teams, elite soldiers, scientists, experts in their fields. They went in confident, armed with the latest technology. But the jungle kept them. Those who managed to return spoke of horrors that haunted their dreams. They described swarms moving like living shadows through the canopy, countless red eyes gleaming in the darkness. But the most terrifying thing they reported? The queen. A monster the size of a wolf, making her nest in an ancient temple deep in the jungle. They say she feeds on the hearts of those foolish enough to venture near her domain, building her strength, expanding her brood. We thought we could contain them. We were wrong. Reports are coming in from cities now. People are spotting strange webs in dark alleys. Pets are vanishing, and that sound in the walls? It might not be rats anymore. These creatures aren't just surviving. They're evolving, adapting, spreading, and they're hungry. So tonight, when you hear something skittering across your ceiling, remember, sometimes the monsters we create are far worse than the ones we imagine. And these, these are very, very real. The blood web is expanding, and none of us are safe anymore.